python problem. You hear about it all the time, slithering through South Florida, dangerous, invasive, and now wildlife experts brainstorming new ways to try to reduce their population. WPTV News Channel 5's Jillian Idol explains what experts believe could be help for solving the wildlife crisis. If somebody like me can walk around and find a python, that's a problem. Drew Martin has serious concerns about the Burmese python population. You know, there shouldn't be anybody getting a, a pet like that unless it's microchipped. And there ought to be a heavy penalty if that pet ends up out in the wild. You can no longer buy one of these snakes as a pet due to tougher state and federal regulations, although there are some exceptions, including educational permits. However, scientists say this non-native species reproduces at alarming rates on public lands. We have a problem with pythons. Since 2017, Florida Fish and Wildlife pays people to remove them, which has taken thousands out of the area, but... It's not enough. There's a lot of things we don't know. Including just how many are still slithering around Florida. I use the phrase, we need to fail faster on projects like this. We need to learn what works and what doesn't. <laughs> Removal methods will soon include technology like drones and even training dogs to sniff out python breeding grounds, hoping to take out large numbers at one time. But just how successful these new tactics will be isn't clear. We're so excited about the changes that our governor has initiated with fresh minds, new attitudes, and it has increased hope. And uh, it's, it's really going to take not only our partners and the governor, it's going to take our citizens as well. Jillian Idol, WPTV News Channel 5.